here are some violins, five cellos and Gavin on the bells. Soon it will be Christmas and then it won't be Christmas again. Before it's Christmas I'm aiming to have seen five and a half traffic cones, a stop sign and a cow, in a hammock, in a rocking chair. The rocking chair is just a distraction from Steve, my trusty metronome. We've been places, we've seen things. We saw a rock, and another rock, and a cylinder. Here are some of my feelings in no particular order. Oh, PowerPoint, I will miss you this Christmas. My Christmas wish list could be endlessly listless. Still every wish would be to have you this Christmas. The radishes are confused because the traffic cone's wearing a hat. Let's make some snowflakes. First, delete the default cube text. Make a shape, adjust it, make some other shapes, combine the second shapes, subtract the combined shapes from the first shape, add a slide zoom, zoom the background, move it above the slide, make it the same size as the slide, rotate it by exactly 22.5 degrees. This is not possible using texting, but use the rotate handle in your mouse. Move it back into the slide centered. Adjust by one pixel up and down quickly, which will update the texture buffer. Knock knock, who's there? A PowerPoint snowflake. Okay, but can we make it fall in 3D? Yes. Insert more slide zooms above the slide, rotate some of them, duplicate the slide, drag the new slide snowflakes below the slide, Move one snowflake far down, then select all and distribute. Turn some of them, move some of them, add a morph transition. Okay, but can we make them fall in 3D in a Christmas scene? Yes. First, let's make a tree for our scene. Insert a triangle, add glow. Now the triangle is glowing. Ring ring, hello? Oh, it's deja vu, and she wants you to insert a slide zoom. Zoom background, scale it up, rotate it, duplicate it twice outside the frame of the presentation. Rotate one so it's got the orientation of a branch. Flip the other vertically and rotate it too. Move the copied slide zoom to the tree so they look like branches. What color is the sky? The color you want it to be. The mountains? Maybe. Get your tree, duplicate. It. Flip some. Add the soften edges zoom effect to nearby ones. That's depth of the field. Speaking of, what goes on a field? Sheep? No. Maybe. A house. Relax by looking at this horse before we make a rectangle. Colour it. Duplicate it. Change to a triangle. Add windows and a chimney with other gradients. Okay, that's nice if you're in the Byzantine Empire. If you're not, group the house. Rotate it in the shape rotate settings. Don't worry, the grouping helps you out by unifying the fulcrum with the rotation in 2.5D space. Make some wood. Add bevel effects. Draw some snow. Draw some smoke. Put the house in the scene but send backward a few elements so the nearer blurred background and trees are in front. Maybe add a fence. Add a big overlay shape and add a radial gradient. Adjust it to be a vignette. Add the snowflakes from the slides before. Add a morph transition again. That's it folks. Time to fix the cement mixer. I don't have a cement mixer. 